slavery ended more than 150 years ago in the United States, but experts say its effects are still lingering today. Yeah, local leaders and several state delegates are working on a bill to help right those wrongs with the Reparations Commission. WMAR2 News' Nordea Lewis is in Towson right now. Nordea, what can you tell us about this bill? Megan Randall, the aim is to create a committee that will look into compensating descendants of those individuals who were enslaved in the state of Maryland. If the House bill passes, the commission will design a plan that includes allocating a lump sum of $800,000. Supporters say this bill would help bridge the wealth gap caused by slavery. Additionally, the task force will work on implementing educational programs to assist with college tuition, along with housing opportunities opportunities to help the families of those who were enslaved get obtainable mortgage to encourage property ownership. We just believe the reparations bill is the number one bill that can actually help African American people. Supporters are still looking for a senator to push for this. Also, the hearing for this bill is scheduled for 1 p.m. this afternoon. And if you want to read up more on the bill, we have that information on our website. Live in Towson, Nordea Lewis, WMAR 2 News. All right, Nordea, thank you so much. And we're taking an in-focus look at the efforts to fight for reparations across the country as part of our commitment to providing more context. The National African American Reparations Commission is a group of distinguished professionals from all over the country. It was established in 2015 as part of an effort to fight for compensation and justice for communities plagued by slavery.